Hey everyone, my name is Kelly and this is Home with Kelly P. Welcome back or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is part of an open invite hosted by Kenya from Kenya's Decor Corner and I will be sure to leave a link to her channel in the description box below as well as a link to the playlist so you can get lots of decor inspiration. So this open invite is a challenge to get us to decorate lanterns in our home for the spring and Easter season. So let's get into today's video. So for the first lantern, I'm going to be using one of these black lanterns from Ikea. And I got this a few years ago. And what I love about this one is the closure is magnetic. So it's so easy to get in and out of. So this is the first one I'm going to be using. So the items I'm going to be using inside this lantern, I picked up from a store which opened up recently and it's only about 10 minutes from my house and I was so excited when I found them and they are new it's small business and i love the idea of supporting small businesses during this time they're called the barn cat be sure to go follow them over on instagram to show them some love but i picked up the greenery which is a candle ring and look at the face of this guy he is so cute he melted my heart when i saw him at the store so I knew he was coming home with me. And then the pink flowers are just paper flowers I've had for years, and they are from the dollar store. So my idea is to put the candle, the greenery, the candle ring inside the lantern and put the lamb on top to make it look like he is sitting in the grass. And here's just a quick look. Look how adorable adorable he is and how he looks in the grass i i was so happy to be able to support them so go follow them on instagram and show them some love it's 2 a.m and i can't fall asleep because i'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young. I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky. And I'd love to know in the comments below, do you guys have lanterns that you like to decorate for the different seasons? So let me know in the comments below if you do decorate lanterns for your home. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like calling. But it's too late now. I just miss you. I just miss you. Such a constellation right no you to agree Now, if you watched my recent spring and Easter decorate with me, you saw that I placed these eggs on my mantle in my living room and I decided to try the lantern here. So I removed the eggs and put him here just because he's so darn cute I want to be able to see him all the time and I actually fell in love with it sitting on the uh, fireplace mantle here so I'm really happy I made the switch and I think with the black candlesticks and the black lantern I think it just looks so so pretty and I will be sure to leave a link to that video in the cards above and if you're interested, I would love if you'd come over and take a look and see how I decorated the rest of my main floor for Easter and spring. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like cold. 
And this video is part of an open invite hosted by Kenya from Kenya's Decor Corner. Be sure to go check out her uh, channel. You will love her. And I want to say thank you so much to Kenya for once again hosting this lantern open invite. They're always so much fun to participate in. So thanks, Kenya. So now my next lantern that I will be decorating is again another black Ikea lantern. This is one of the older ones because the closure is the typical lantern, lantern closure. But I love these lanterns. They're the perfect size and you can do so much with them because they are black. And I've had these for years. I love decorating them for all the different seasons. So this round I'm going to be using some beautiful little yellow picks I got from Michael's. And I've had these sparkly eggs. They're from the dollar store. I've had them for a number of years. And with the yellow, I thought they were perfect. And then I found this in Michael's again in their Easter sale. It's actually the letter D, but they didn't have a letter P. So I thought, well, this is the closest I'm going to get to it. And it was yellow. So I thought, how pretty is that? So I'm just going to turn the D upside down. And then I'm just going to use this little wood, I think it's a candle holder um, base. So I'm just going to use that to kind of uh, give the letter a little bit more height in this lantern. This lantern I placed in my dining room on my buffet and it looks so pretty there. I'm going to give you a quick glimpse of also my tiered tray that I did for spring and Easter. Again, there are some items on here from the Barn Cat that is that new store near me. But here's a look at the uh, the lantern in the dining room next to the tear tray and I love it. It's just so bright and cheery and the eggs add a little bit of sparkle but I just think this is just so so pretty with all the yellows in there. And yellow is not usually a color I decorate with but I was really really drawn to it this year. And once again, I'm, I want to give you a look at my spring tiered tray because I just love it. So this bunny bait sign is once again from that little store near me. And this white star that you see back there. And then I got another one, a black one, which is on the top of the tiered tray. They were also from that store and they were only, I think, two dollars something like that and they're so so pretty and they're the perfect size to add to a tear tray and there's the black one they had red and blue and I think I might need to go get some more of them because they're just perfect for a tiered tray <music>
thank you so much for stopping by and spending some of your precious time with me. And I would like to thank Kenya for once again hosting this open lantern decor invite. It's always so much fun to participate in. So thanks again, Kenya. And for a lot more lantern spring ideas, be sure to check out the playlist, which I will leave linked in the description box below. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and it gave you some spring and Easter decor inspiration. I love to share how I am decorating my home for the different seasons and holidays with all of you. I just love being able to do that. And if you are new here, thank you. Take a look around my channel and I hope that if you like what you see that you will think about subscribing and joining me here each week as I share more things home related. So until I see you in my next video, I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. For some reason, I lost the footage on how I did this third lantern. This gold lantern is actually from Pier 1 before they went out of business. But you get the idea. I took some more of those sparkly eggs and added them in with some pink flowers and just some moss on the bottom. And this one sits upstairs in our hallway in near the bedrooms. And I love the way this one turned out as well. And there's some of those little pink rosettes that are from the dollar store as well. And this week's shout out goes to Mel from Mel C's Makeup and Style. I recently discovered her channel and I am loving it. I can't wait to dive into some more of her videos, but she does makeup application and style for more mature women, which is so refreshing and nice to find. And she happens to be a fellow Canadian, so I love that. So go check out Mel and her channel. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine When we were young